First up, the sport of curling has a premier match here in Vegas. Slide into the Orleans for all the action. And it's the World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling. And here to get us all ready for is the CEO of the Reno Tahoe Winter Games Coalition. That's John Kellerin, as well as Darren Davis, the executive director of the Orleans Arena. Gentlemen. Good Hello. morning to both Good of morning. you. Good morning. Good morning. This uh, curling is just the, I'm obsessed <laughs> with curling now. I, 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 I've seen it a few Winter Olympics in a row. It's the one thing I just get attached to. And now we have it here, one of the most premier cups going here in our own backyard. Yeah, you're not alone. Uh, every four years during the Winter Olympics, uh, people watch and they get mesmerized. I think, you know, the athletes, they're not wearing helmets. They're mic'd. You can hear them strategize, agonize, yeah. and exalt over it's what they do. Game. Yeah, it's a chess game. And I think it's even better live. And it just, we've learned that over these last couple of years, first bringing the cup here a couple of years ago and mm -hmm. now bringing it back. And, I mean, you're talking about 48 of the top curlers in the world, men and women. Most of them Olympians and world champions will be here this week. And then you add the Las Vegas style entertainment that we throw in, and it's bringing curling and an iconic destination together like you can't do anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us the rules of the game? No, I'm still learning. <laughs> I'm a, you know, Canada, the Canadians are the experts, and the Scots are the experts. Uh, you know, but uh, it, it's, it, if you think of chess and shuffleboard together mm -hmm. on ice with brooms and a 42 pound stone, now you understand it. And it, it it's. But the, the beauty of it is it's not just, you know, shuffleboard or chess. You just move a piece here. Here, I mean, these athletes are incredible. The leg flexibility and strength that they have uh, and the precision to which they make these shots is They're just trying incredible. to knock out your opponents. Yeah, basically knock out your opponents, be the closest to the middle of the button in mm -hmm. the house mm -hmm. as you can during the draw, which, by the way, is a game. Let's see. This is like, okay, it's, I'm, still, I'm still trying to catch on to it, the, the rules of it, but watching it is really incredible. And this, I mean, let's talk about the popularity of this. this is, uh, Orleans uh, is the first uh, venue outside of Canada to ever host this competition. That's right. We're so excited to have it. Uh, back in 2014, we set attendance records in 14 with this event, first time we hosted it. Wow. And we've since exceeded those uh, attendance figures with this event in no 2006. Kidding. 16, so, so you're breaking a record for yourself again we're in breaking 2016. breaking a second record with ourselves. Yeah. And not only a record for this event, this will shatter the U.S. attendance record, which was the 2008 World Championships in uh, Grand Forks, Dakota. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, uh, yeah, history in the making here it's that people awesome. can be a part and of. Do you really that's think right. that's attributed to the Olympics, too? Just people, more people are in tune with the sport? People are watching it during the games. It's one of the most highest rated events in the winter games every mm -hmm. four years and then they're also i think that they've gotten to know you again you get that intimate and then also uh there are products uh, out there in terms of watching it not just during the olympics but they're now curling seasons that are now being broadcast more and more in the united states including digitally on espn3 which is so cool and i'm, I'm sure that's exciting uh m more people actually play the sport here in america as well yeah, the clubs are going, and because of that, you know, like I say, this event will bring thousands of Canadians from where they're colder right now, and, and snowbirds and things like that from Arizona and, and Southern California and even here in Southern Nevada. But it also is bringing a lot more people from around the United States, including, you know, curling hotbeds like Oklahoma, Illinois, North Carolina. <laughs> so it's it, 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 the obviously epicenter the of the curling is world. growing, yeah. Yes. Now, John, you're letting fans do something very special. What are you doing for them? Yeah, well, first off, uh, fans who haven't had a chance to get involved can get involved. Our Wednesday uh, opening ceremonies at the arena at 8 p.m. are free and open to the general public. Awesome. Open seating, don't need a ticket to come in. We want people to get uh, in and check this out. Uh, the teams will be introduced. We've got some entertainment planned. And we have a contest, the Curl for Club Seats, that is being put together by Boyd Gaming in the Orleans, where one lucky fan who is already qualified, we've got our qualifiers, is going to get to come out. Six of them will try. One of them will win club seats. The subscription seating that you have up absolutely the some of our most premier seating in the venue uh an annual year subscription oh, no kidding yeah you get to two two tickets about a seven thousand dollar value to the nice. winner wow and they get to come to every single publicly ticket event we have throughout the year and so they'll get to enjoy the curling event and all the other events we'll do throughout the year and one of the qualifiers is a 16 year old youth curler from the las vegas curling club yes which curls we out had the las the vegas show. ice center matthew we're looking for i have a feeling he may end up being the crowd sentimental favorite <laughs> <laughs> well of course I mean, this this is kind of like the half court shot for for yeah, you guys. This is the, this is a yeah. lot of a lot of pressure. And they'll be drawing to the button, but the fun part is they're going to be doing it with the teams. The teams are going to mark the shot for them, sweep it for oh, them. Oh, that's cool. We're making it an yeah. experience for them 
whether they make the shot or not. Everybody's going to be a winner. All six are going to get a prize, but the grand prize is something truly special. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Very nice. Yes, and again, this event takes place when? Uh, the opening ceremonies again Wednesday, 8 p.m., free. free, don't need a ticket. Then the ticketed events start 8.30 in the morning on Thursday. This is broadcast live back to Canada, every minute of it on TSN. And so uh, tickets are just uh, starting at $20 for a single draw, a game. Mm -hmm. And you can get them either at OrleansArena.com or at any Boyd Gaming uh, ticket box office. Did I do that right? You did that perfect. <laughs> wow. <laughs> not, bad for a not bad for a Reno guy. You're right. You're right. <laughs> it's great having you guys. Thank, Thank you so thanks much. So very, very much. Pleasure. Uh, the World Financial Cup Continental Cup of Curling. It hits the ice this Thursday through Sunday at the Orleans Arena. Remember that the opening uh, ceremonies start on Wednesday, and that's free and open to the public. No ticket needed. There are several heat times throughout the week. If you want to see a rundown and get your tickets, go to orleansarena.com or call the number listed.